Heads up, a bad dude landed by me. Okay, so you're doing 120, let's say max, 120 FPS in the lobby, right? Mm. Okay, you've got a what CPU? 11600K. Okay, and how much RAM? 32. And it's at what speed? 32. Okay, cool. And then obviously a 1050 Ti. Yeah. 4 gig. Exactly. Okay, now go to settings at the bottom of the screen. Go to settings, yeah. Go to video. Right. So yours is border, borderless window. Make it full screen. Full screen, all right. Keep your, okay, that's your native resolution, obviously. So it's not yeah. 1080p or whatever, but that, 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 that's fine. Uh, NVIDIA Reflex, that enable plus boost, put it off. Okay, off. yeah. Uh, your adaptive resolution FPS target. No, keep it on TSAA, otherwise you're going to get jagged edges. All right. so go one up on the texture streaming budget. Yeah, two to three gigs, right? Okay, that's fine, because you've got a four gig card. Because yeah. for, with me, I've got a six gig card, I put it on four. If you have an eight gig card, you put it on six. That's how you, how you should do it. Okay, yeah. texture faltering, put it all the way up. Yes. Yes, all the way up. Times 16, leave it there. Uh, then, okay, this all this is all fine. Go all the way down. Okay, so high, low, disable, low, that's perfect. Press back, or apply, sorry, apply, apply, apply these settings. Go back, escape. Now, you see, you were doing 120 FPS earlier on. You're doing about 136 now. You see? I see it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm busy helping a friend of mine to fine-tune his game because he has a 1050 ti okay it is an older generation card i mean we in the 30 series right now but there's a lot of people that's running 20 series 10 series or even lower than that so it depends on the machine that you're running the cpu the gpu and the ram that you're running to fine-tune your settings to have the best fps possible that you can do with the machine that you're in, because no one has the exact same machine. So you have to fine tune your settings to be able to have really good FPS while playing the game, not just in the lobby, but actually playing the game. Apex Legends did a huge update and they brought a couple of things in like visuals, guns, all those things. Ladies and gentlemen, let me jump into this video. What's up guys and welcome back to Software Nautilus Solutions and today we're talking about Apex Legends. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Apex Legends did a 20 something gig update and I will leave a link in the description down below what the patches they did for, for the game and the bugs that they fixed and everything they changed for the game. Now a lot of people are running into FPS problems with this game, so I'm going to show you how to do really good FPS with the settings that I'm currently using right now. Now, obviously the video that I showed you earlier on is me fine-tuning my friend's game with a 1050 Ti graphics card. It's a 10 series graphics card. I have a 20 series. So yeah, it's all about the personal preference, your machine that you're currently running, what graphics card you're running, what CPU, what RAM, what specific specifications you have in your machine to do the best FPS out of this game. It doesn't matter if you're playing normal games like this or training or whatever the case might be, that is the frames you're going to be doing in the game. Now I do 144 while playing the game and this is my max that I'll hit. You can go over here and let me just show you what you're going to need to do. All right, so you're going to go to video over here. Obviously you're going to keep this at full screen, this at native and this at the resolution of your monitor or your display. Your brightness is your own personal preference and your field of view is your own personal preference. Field of view, ability scaling, I keep mine on disabled. Sprint view shake, I keep mine on minimal. V-Sync, as you can see here, I have it disabled. Now, as you can see, it is on 144. So I just wanna show you something quickly, adaptive. But don't let this mind fuck you, because if I apply this, look at my FPS, I'm doing 300 frames a second. But that's not what you, you're not going to do really good FPS in the game while playing. It's just like this in the lobby, when you in your settings menu. That's it. I highly recommend you go ahead and put this on disable. It will do the max FPS 
out of the game that it can. Put this on disable as well. Do not put this at enable. Do not put it in enable plus boost. If you want more FPS out of your game, put it on disable. Put this on zero. Put this on TSAA so you do not have any jagged edges in your game, like your characters or the buildings or whatever is rendering in the game, like your guns, whatever the case might be. Every single object is going to have jagged edges if you have this on off. Keep it on TSAA. Now, this plays a very big role on the graphics card you're currently running. If you're running a 10 series graphics card, 20 series, and a 30 series graphics card, it depends on what graphics card you are currently running. I'm running an RTX 2060 OC, and it's been overclocked as well. It's a 6 gig graphics card. So I don't put it on 6 gig, I put it on 4 gig. So if you have a newer generation graphics card, let's say you have a 20 series or you have a 30 series graphics card, and it's an 8 gig card, then you go ahead and put it on 6. All right? Let's say you have 12 gigs, then you go ahead and put it on 8. You catch my drift, all right? So my 6 gig card, I put it on 4. Now my friend's 4 gig card, he puts it at low or he puts it at very low. But he will do, I don't know, 136 to 140 FPS with this game with no problem whatsoever with the same settings that I'm currently using, all right? So I have mine like this. This you're going to keep at 16 times. This you're going to disable. This at low. This at low. This on disable. Disable these two as well. Keep that at high. This on medium or at low if you want to. I keep mine at medium because I have a 20 series card. This at low and then this at low and then apply the settings and then your game's going to look like this in the lobby and your frames is also going to look like this while playing the game. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're new here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, in the description down below, there is launch options for people out there that really need it. If you are playing this game on Steam or you're playing it on Origin, just go in the description down below, copy and paste it. It says Steam, and then it has its launch options, then it says Origin, and it has its launch options. Go and copy and paste it into your game, and you should be good to go, depending on the machine that you're running. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here, and as always... Peace out.